is um, the government pays you money for schooling i am a nigerian in cyprus please how do i move to luxembourg from cyprus you have you never see food shop you won't carry you won't carry family follow body <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am Modesta, a Nigerian mommy vlogger living in Luxembourg. If you are coming across my channel for the first time, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, hello, join the family, subscribe to this channel, stick around with us, and you really enjoy it here. Yes. So today, guys, I came up with something. I want to be answering your questions, more like a Q&A video. So in this video, I will be answering some questions like eyebrows raised. Those questions you've been longing to ask, you want a reply, and yes. And those questions, I wrote them down here. So I'll be reading from this, my book, to answer those questions. Last year, I made a video with Waka Waka Doctor. He's on Instagram at Waka Waka Doctor. He's also on YouTube as Waka Waka Doctor. So we made a video, he interviewed me, you know, about the richest country, the second richest country in the world, which is Luxembourg, and how he can move to Luxembourg, you know. That was last year, I think October last, September, October, I think October last year or thereabouts. So yes, we, we filmed that video together, it was like IG Live. Yeah, so we did that, he also put it out on his YouTube, and I know a lot of people came asking me questions, asking me questions there, yeah, hey, which one will I answer, which one? <laughs> so today, I, 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 I thought it is smart enough to put all these questions together and answer you guys live here on my YouTube. So if you're just joining my YouTube for the first time and this video brought you, hello, I assure you, you really get your answers without wasting much of your time or blabbing let me also remind you that i have a playlist on my channel named luxembourg that's the name of the playlist and on that playlist i have lots of video about luxembourg so after watching this video i think you would need to go to that playlist i have a lot of things i have done about luxembourg on my channel so i am sure you will get to you know you get one or two answers from some of those videos answers that might not be in this particular q and a i want to be answering yeah so if you feel this is what you want to watch yes so stick around and keep watching okay so we talked about the richest con the second richest country in the world luxembourg and how you can move to luxembourg the number one question here i didn't write their names I just wrote down the questions. I don't think it is necessary to mention their names. And I feel like I might even, you know, call the names wrongly. But yes, I think the most important thing to do is the questions and then giving a tangible response to the questions. So let, let, let's go ahead. The number one question says, are undergraduates also allowed to work while studying? Are undergraduates also allowed to work while studying? Yes, undergraduates are allowed to work while studying, but you know, you cannot work in those big, big, you know, fields. You can work, you can have jobs like maybe you're working in the shop as an assistant, you know, those kind of jobs. So yes, but generally, yes, undergraduates are allowed to work while studying. Now, the number two question says, sorry, I forgot to tell you, I'll be taking down 20 to 21 questions. Of, there are so many questions. But I cannot be answering all your questions. I will take as much as I feel like I can because I can't be answering like over 100 and something questions. <laughs> that is too much or 30 something questions. That's too much. So I'll be like, you know, putting the questions together. Some asked more than one or two questions. So I'll be putting the questions together. And out of these questions, I'll be taking only 20 questions. And if you feel like your question is not answered in this video, do well to leave a question for me in the description and sorry, in the comment section i'll down there within your comments and i'll be and i'll reply your questions so number two how can one legalize their certificate 
yes if you're in nigeria like i'm a nigerian so i can only talk based on nigeria if you're in nigeria you have to go to abuja abuja is the only place you can legalize your document you have to go to the embassy in abuja to legalize your documents yes so are we required to open a bank account in luxembourg and deposit the money i'm not sure no 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 but you need to show an account whether in nigeria that okay you have this amount of money in it and you can take care of yourself like not when you come you start depending on the government to take care of you and yes let me let me tell you, it's not like if you come here and things are not going well with you that the government will not take care of you of course they will take care of you but the government also want to be sure that okay you have this particular amount of money in your account you're able to take care of yourself you're able to like foot your bills without depending on anybody or start being a burden to them you know so yes you need to open a bank maybe in nigeria but it's not compulsory you open here in luxembourg luxembourg now pays for registration a sum of 50 euro how true is that yes as I, last year we, when we made that video there was no fee attached to the application okay there was no fee in fact before corona there was no fee attached to luxembourg um, application I, I, I mean university of luxembourg no the university of luxembourg is not the only university in luxembourg there are other universities in luxembourg but University of Luxembourg had no fee attached to it before Corona and even up until last year, you know, that they raised the ban a little bit. So things change. You understand what I am saying? This changed. After Corona, they decided to attach. In fact, this 2022 is the first time you have to pay for application fee, which is the sum of 50 euros, I think. In naira twenty thousand naira or more i don't i don't know the the exchange rates now so yes so it's the fee the 50 euro fee for application on form started this 2022 so when we filmed that video um application was free free as at when i did that video with waka waka doctor now the next question says what are the cheapest universities in luxembourg in fact, as a matter of fact, University of Luxembourg is the cheapest university in Luxembourg. Aside the application fee, which has been added to, you know, the application and all of that, you get to pay like 200 euros every semester, which is about, the last time I checked, 110,000 Naira. I did, I schooled in Nigeria, I studied up until my master's level, I know how much I spent doing my master's. You know, so compared to 200 euros every semester, I don't think it is so much, especially when you're coming for a master's degree, you have three semesters. So it's just like you're paying total 330,000 um, Naira, 330,000. So you pay 200 euros every semester, 200 euros. With the recent exchange rate, I don't know what 200 euros now is in Nigeria. So do the calculation yourself, you'll find out. And then, can one move to Luxembourg with their family? Yes, you can move to Luxembourg with your family. There are different ways you can move to Luxembourg. Number one, the country wants to be sure that if you're moving to Luxembourg with your dependents, you're able to take care of yourself and you take care of them. Like, you cannot come to Luxembourg. You have you never see food shop. You won't carry, you won't carry family, follow body. For example, if you get a job in Luxembourg, immediately, the, no wasting of time, you will move to Luxembourg with your family immediately because they know that oh now you have a job so you can take care of yourself you can take care of your kids you will not be a problem or a burden you know to the country so yes one can move to Luxembourg with their family is there a chance of someone who just finished secondary school in Nigeria to school in Luxembourg yes there is a chance you go for the first degree and when you apply for a course in the university try to read the requirement for that course because in luxembourg we speak like four international languages we speak luxembourgish we speak english we speak german we speak french yes and these are official language and they are also used in schools so make sure that the course you apply for you read the requirement if that course requires you to know french german go for the one you feel you can handle that is english so if you are not competent in some of these languages, 
you will not get the admission. How about another question says, how about accommodation for international students? There is accommodation for international students. That shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't worry you. You will get accommodation. So when you are filling the form, they will ask you if you have a place you stay or you need accommodation from the university. The university will provide accommodation for you. Can one work in Luxembourg with a visiting visa? Oh no, you cannot work in Luxembourg with a visiting visa. Because the visa is visiting. It means you will visit and you will go back. You can't work in Luxembourg with a visiting visa. Nobody will even give you a job. <laughs> they don't want to implicate themselves. Then, I am in the number 10th question. The number 10th question says, I am a Nigerian in Cyprus. Please, how do I move to Luxembourg from Cyprus? You will move to Luxembourg from Cyprus. Either I have a, a video on my channel where I talked about four ways you can migrate to Luxembourg. You will move either through job, either through school, or maybe you use the visiting visa, you come and you go, or... Yes, I have just go to my channel. You see, and um, four ways you can migrate to Luxembourg. I mentioned it so, or you can come as a family member, like your family would, you know, send you an invitation to come and visit them. So, but well, aside that, you can also like check in Cyprus, you know, through the embassy. I don't know the embassy Luxembourg is using in Cyprus, and yes, so because Cyprus is not among um, the Schengen countries, so. If you had Schengen visa now, it would be very easy for you to come to Luxembourg. But since you're in Cyprus and it is not among the Schengen countries, there is a lot of difficulty for you to move aside using this particular um, four ways I mentioned. I, I also have a video four ways you can migrate to Luxembourg on my channel. It is under the Luxembourg playlist. If you wish, do well to check out my playlist. I have a playlist here called Luxembourg. That is the name of the playlist. So all the videos in that Luxembourg playlist are videos about Luxembourg. So I'm sure you will get your answer. You get your question answered very well in that video. Now, this one says, the number 12 question says, can we school and work at the same time? I think I answered this question. Yes, you can school and work at the same time. Especially if you are a PhD student, you're schooling in Luxembourg, you, you earn at least 2,800 euros. Yes every month so the the government the, um, the government pays you money for schooling like if you're a phd student you necessarily don't need a job outside the university i think you will just work within that your field of study like maybe in the university or in a lab or something yeah so but at the end of the day you get paid so you actually don't need a job that's maybe going to the store working in the store or anything no you don't i don't think you need that kind of job and then the number 13 question says, please, can I apply for a job as an international applicant in one of the universities? Yes, you can apply for a job as an international applicant. I have a video on good websites. I don't know. I filmed that video and I'm yet to edit and upload that video. So maybe you watch out for that video so that you can, you know, get a good website where you can apply for jobs in Luxembourg. You can apply for jobs in the university, different universities. Luxembourg University is not the only university in Luxembourg. You can apply for a job in the university, different universities as a matter of fact, and you can get that job if you qualify for the job. Yes, you can get that job. So you can apply as an international applicant. How can an international student get licensed to practice in Luxembourg medicine field? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. You have to go through the embassy. There are requirements you will need to meet up with. And then you have to submit, like, how do I, how, how is it called? Is it your license? You know, you are, your license. There are requirements to that. So you, you have to get all that from the embassy in the country you reside. They will give you all that. So if you're living in Nigeria, Luxembourg do not have an embassy in Nigeria, but they use the Belgium embassy. Now, is there age limit for applying for bsc or masters in luxembourg no there are no age limits i mean somebody we um with the okay a man of 77 years that wants to further his studies you can't stop him from studying just like in nigeria you can see people of 40 something 50 something going back to school maybe they wouldn't 
have done that earlier because of financial constraint and later they made the money and they want to further their education i mean knowledge is you know you, nobody stops you from learning is a learning is a continuous process so you cannot say ah uh, because you're 30 something years or you're 40 something years they will they will not give you admission no if you merit that admission you will get it you know Luxembourg is not a country where people buy admission unlike in nigeria here if you merit anything be it job admission anything you will get it okay you don't even need to really like stress yourself over it just make sure that okay you're well qualified before you apply for that thing then the number 16th question is IELT compulsory before moving to Luxembourg no so yes I get some people asking me ma they said you should prove language this that I will tell you Luxembourg has four international official languages you speak um either you have knowledge of French English German okay or Luxembourgish and if your certificate is translated into these um languages you don't actually need the IELT all you need to do is that okay you can speak English very well and your certificate is in English so you actually don't need that IELT because IELT means for you to prove that you can speak English okay yeah so you actually don't need that IELT and if your certificate is not in any of these four international languages I mentioned it means that maybe you have to take a language test in English German or French again you also need to translate your certificate to these languages that i mentioned since your certificate is not in the four languages i mentioned earlier now this person said please would you highly suggest a person buys a car while transportation is free in luxembourg it is your choice here people have car because maybe they have a job and you know when you take the difference with public transport and private car is very very glaring now with public transport you might get to your destination for five minutes you know and with okay you will get to your destination in 45 minutes and somebody with a private car can get to their destination in 20 minutes so these are two different things it depends again maybe you have a job and your job is not close to you your job is a little bit far so what do you do maybe you get a car car again is not expensive in europe it is not expensive to own a car in Europe. No, it is not. So you can just get a car that once you enter the car, boom, you zoom off to your destination. So you don't need to like maybe stop, enter this bus, stop, enter train. You know, this all these things, stopping and entering another one is taking a lot of your time. If this bus comes at 6.15 and you get your bus stop as at... um six o'clock it means that you still have to wait for 15 minutes for that bus or train to arrive before you can continue your journey but if you have a private car you don't need to wait extra 15 minutes in that 15 minutes you are waiting you would have gotten to your destination so it is all your choice it is the choice is yours to make and buying a car depends on you know your lifestyle how you live here in luxembourg if you live very close to maybe your office or your children's school or your doctor, you might probably not need the car. Some people even have the car and sometimes you don't go out with the car because even with the car, you still have to pay for parking or you get to the city, there is no parking. Sometimes you might just be like, ah, I don't want the stress that comes with this car. Let me just enter public transport. So everything is, the choice is yours to make. So yeah. How can I travel to Luxembourg? I have a video on my channel, four ways you can move to Luxembourg. Traveling to Luxembourg is not that difficult. It might be a little bit difficult, but you need to put in effort. It does not mean it's not achievable. It is highly achievable, but you have to put in extra work to that. So I will advise you go down to my channel. You will see a playlist, Luxembourg. There are a lot of videos about Luxembourg that I've made. And the most important one that I suggest you will need is to watch the four ways or you can migrate to Luxembourg. I think the best thing to do is to leave the link here on this video. So after watching this video, you can watch that one. Can someone with Schengen visa visit Luxembourg? Oh yes, with Schengen visa, you can visit Luxembourg. In fact, I made a country about, you know, Schengen visa and countries you can travel with Schengen visa. You can visit Luxembourg and go back. That day, that day with Schengen visa, if you don't have money to pay 
for hotel and all of that but anyways it depends on the country you are coming from if you're coming from countries like belgium france and germany it is possible for you to visit luxembourg that day and still go back to these countries because they are neighboring countries they share border with luxembourg so with schengen visa you can visit luxembourg without wahala and nobody's stopping you then what if you want to walk what if you want a work visa instead so this person is asking okay if you don't want to come via studies what if a work visa yes i also made a video about work visa like sites that you can go through i think maybe after i put up this video i would like to the next few videos that will come will be maybe the schengen countries that you can visit you know and then maybe sites you can use to apply for a job it is very very possible for you to move to luxembourg through work and i mentioned that this site in um, sites you can use to apply for a job in luxembourg i mentioned it in the video i'm here to edit i already filmed the video but i don't know when i'll be putting it up maybe this video will be going up before those ones so stick around that's why i said subscribe to this channel stick around and then um, Turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss either of these two videos by the time they go up. Yeah, so the last one I'll be taking is how much for cleaners. Anyways, if you want to start a job for a cleaner here in Luxembourg, I can categorically tell you that as a cleaner, you will start with a little bit above the minimum wage, which is, which is 1,800 euros or 1,800 euros exactly the minimum wage and it doesn't mean that you clean no for this particular fixed salary no you know you get promotions and your salary increases i know a cleaner who earns 2,500 euros 2,500 euros converted to naira is one point something million naira yeah so you can earn above that and but you know as a cleaner you have to start with the basic salary for a cleaner so yes you earn a lot too as a cleaner a lot that can take care of you so if you enjoyed this video you know what give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel share this video someone who watched this video or some other person that might be needing answers to these particular questions maybe someone you know might be needing one or two answers to out of the 21 questions i answered you know one or two answers so share this video with your friends family all of that don't forget to share keep sharing give my video a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it for other people that might find it very interesting and yes i will see you in my next video stay safe and bye Bye. We fly away, go far. We shake far away. Light me up, we fly away. Vela, vela, right back.